what makes chloroplast appear completely different from other organelles so other organelles like lysosomes ribosomes and uh, mitochondria golgi apparatus so we have different kind of organelles so what lo ee chloroplast and the induku anta different ga undi so before that we will be studying the complete structure of the chloroplast appudu ee chloroplast induku anta complete different ga undi anedi manaku easy ga artham ayipothundi so chloroplast gurinchi chadavadaniki mundu ee chloroplast it will be present inside the cell cell lopla present that means inside the plant cell we can see the chloro plast but e chloroplast observed here and e chloroplast lopla inside this chloroplast what is present inside it what lopla em undi adi find out cheyala e find out cheyadan kosam em endante chaala mandi scientists chloroplast paina experiments chesara appudu okka okka sari ee cell em avutundante broken ayipothundi that means it will be uh, broken ante cell two parts ki divide ayipothundi yet kabati ఈ క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ గురించి చదవాలంటే దట్ మీన్స్ ఫస్ట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ఏ సెల్ దట్ ఈస్ ఏ ప్లాంట్ సెల్ వితౌట్ గెటింగ్ ఎనీ డ్యామేజ్ అండ్ దిస్ వాజ్ డన్ ఇన్ ది ఇయర్ నైన్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫోర్ సో నైన్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫోర్లో డానియల్ ఐ ఎర్నాన్ సో డానియల్ ఐ ఎర్నాన్ సో వాజ్ ద సైంటిస్ట్ హూ లర్న్ అబౌట్ ద కంప్లీట్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ ద క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ సో ఒక మైక్రోస్కోప్ ద్వారా ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ మైక్రోస్కోప్ ద్వారా యూజ్ చేసుకుని ఈ డానియల్ ఐ అరాన్ ఇన్ ది ఇయర్ నైన్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫోర్లో క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ యొక్క కంప్లీట్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ని డిస్క్రైబ్ చేశారు అనమాట సో అతను కూడా చెప్పినట్టు ఏంటంటే ఇఫ్ ద ప్లాంట్ సెల్ బ్రేక్స్ సో ప్లాంట్ సెల్ బ్రేక్ అయిందనుకోండి దెన్ ద ఫోటోసింథసిస్ రియాక్షన్ కెనాట్ బి అకర్ అట్ ఆల్ సో ఆ ఫోటోసింథసిస్ రియాక్షన్ అబ్జర్వ్ చేసుకోవడం కోసము ఈ క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ ని చాలా జాగ్రత్తగా వాటర్ ప్లాంట్ సెల్ లో నుంచి తీసుకుని వాటిపైన ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ చేసి వాట్ ఆర్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఇస్ ఐ ద క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ ఆర్ డీటెయిల్ గా చదవ అనమాట ఓకే సో నౌ లెట్ అస్ గో ఫార్ ద ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ సెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ద క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ సో క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ యొక్క ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ సెక్షన్ అనేది చూద్దాం నౌ దిస్ ఇస్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ ఎ క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ as we you can see here inside the plant cell so e plant cell ante leaf lo padundu leaf lo apla man plant cell untundi plant cell lo apla manaku e chloroplast anedu it is a small organelle so organelle means a small part which is present inside it okay e plant e chlorophyll lo apla manaku em untundi ante different parts untai so that is stroma inner membrane outer membrane ribosomes chloroplast dna granum thylakoid lamella so there are different parts present in the chloroplast okay so before that we need to know about that it has been found the chloroplast has a membrane structure so membrane structure ante chuttu oka covered layer la untundi that membrane structure is consist of three membranes so three membranes ka cover untundi that means it has a three uh, layer of the chloroplast so let us discuss one by one that so the third layer first niche third layer ni chustam so first the third layer so the third layer uh, it forms a stacked sac like structures called as the granum which is called as a granum so which is called as the third layer the granum so ikkada ee granum degane the first trapping of solar energy jarugutundi so trapping of solar energy will be done in the chloroplast but where it is occurred in it is done in the granum trapping of solar energy okay so trapping of solar energy so granum is considered to be called as the third layer of membrane so third membrane uh, third layer of membrane ga cheptam and in this granum we have the trapping of the solar energy okay now next coming to the second layer next coming on to the second layer so we have a fluid filled in between it fluid filled so e middle lopala manaki endante oka fluid fill untundi that fluid is called as a stroma so that is called as a stroma mari e stroma ni em chestundante it is responsible for the enzymatic reactions like enzymatic reactions 
enzymatic reactions leading, leading to the synthesis of glucose which in turn together to form a starch ante glucose mottanni gather cheskuni ante food tayar cheskune danni glucose mottanni combine cheskuni it makes into a starch that means we call it as enzymatic reactions so enzymatic reactions is occurred in a fluid which is called as a stroma ee manaku kanipichetundi ee yellow color mottham ee layer adantha edundo that is covered with a fluid called a stroma so where it converts the glucose uh, where it combines the glucose into a starch and glucose mottanni combine chesi starch ga manu ikkada chupistanamata okay so that is about the first uh, second layer of the second layer where we have the fluids so that is called as a stroma the third layer is called as the granum so in granum we have the trapping of solar energy and the second layer of the second membrane is the where the fluid is been filled out which is called the stroma where we have the enzymatic reactions where it combines all the glucose into a starch glucose mottanni combine chesi starch ga form chestu anamata okay and the substance found in the chloroplast which captures sunlight are called as the photosynthetic pigments photo synthetic pigments so these photosynthetic pigments so as you can see the pigments which are present inside the chloroplast so these are used for the capture of sunlight so sunlight ni capture cheyadaniki we ha have this the photosynthetic pigments and there are several types of phot photosynthetic pigments in the process to produce organic molecules like a glucose so these photosynthetic pigments are present in number of it so different chaana numbers untai aa photosynthetic pigment ni manam em cheptuntam ikkada chlorophyll ga cheptuntam see we call it as a chlorophyll okay so e photosynthetic pigment which is used for the uh, capturing of sunlight capture of sunlight okay and it converts into organic compound like glucose and the food material into the glucose ni form chestund anamata okay so that can be occurred here in the photosynthetic pigments that photosynthetic pigment is called as a chlorophyll okay so chlorophyll like manaku plants green color unadan karanam endante chlorophyll so idu ela untundante like here we have a carbon atom which is surrounded by an hydrogen atom okay and uh, like example ki man human blood teeskundam man human blood lopla manaku hemoglobin anedi untundi avuna so we have a hemoglobin h a e m o globin so which we have a hemoglobin in our blood so hemoglobin a color untundanta manaku రెడ్ కలర్ ఉంటుంది సో రెడ్ కలర్ ఉండడానికి కారణం ఏంటి డ్యూ టు ద బ్రెయిన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐరన్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఐరన్ విచ్ ఈస్ ప్రెజెంట్ ఇన్ అవర్ బ్లడ్ మన బ్లడ్లో ఐరన్ అనేది ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి దట్ ఈస్ వై వీ హ్యావ్ ద బ్లడ్ కలర్ యాజ్ రెడ్ ద సేమ్ ఆల్సో హియర్ ఇన్ ద ప్లాంట్ సెల్ సేమ్ మనకు ఇక్కడ మనకు ఏవైతే అయితే బ్లడ్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ సెల్స్ ఏవైతే ఉంటాయో వీ హ్యావ్ ఐరన్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ అపియర్ యాజ్ రెడ్ ఇప్పుడు ఐరన్ తీసేసి మిడిల్లో మనం మెగ్నీషియం కనుక యూజ్ చేసినట్లయితే then it is nothing but the chlorophyll structure so it appears in a greening color that means the cell complete structure which is made a compound made up of a carbon hydrogen and magnesium where it appears in greening color as our blood hemoglobin it is made up of carbon hydrogen and iron and also some amount of oxygen kuda untundi okay so it makes the blood red in color and here um, this uh, we have two kinds of uh, chlorophyll associated with the thylakoid membrane so e thylakoids ekkadaithe meeku kanipisnao e thylakoids which are called as the disc like structures anta vaatini e thylakoids lo which are called the disc like structures in that we have two major kind of chlorophyll so we have the two major kind of chlorophyll so what are the two major kind of chlorophyll is so the two major kind of chlorophyll so actually manaku major annaru ante different uh, chlorophylls unnai andulo uh, major ga unnatundi chlorophyll endante one is the chlorophyll 
A and another one is the chlorophyll B. The chlorophyll A and the chlorophyll B. So the chlorophyll A is which is in blue green color. So this color lunda thanta marko blue green color and the chlorophyll B which is in yellow green color. Yellow green in color. So plants like kuga yunda jay thanta marko chlorophyll B and it mande the unda the. So remaining chlorophyll A, chlorophyll C. Chlorophyll D, any equivalent and algae is So, like different algae is So, algae is low. We have this chlorophyll A, chlorophyll C, and chlorophyll D. In plants, mostly we have the chlorophyll B. So, mano complete ka chlorophyll B unta the mano chaplam. So, some of them will be having chlorophyll A or otherwise chlorophyll C. Can major ga plants lo man ka can be che the the chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. So now the preparation of food, which can be done in the chlorophyll B. So plants, so what you call food preparation, gani transportation, ye de the complete ga, yekar jaro chunate, which will be occurred in the chlorophyll B. And this uh, chlorophyll structures they will be having of 200, uh, 250 to 250 to 400 pigments. And ne don'ta, ante oka chloro chloroplast lo, we have almost 250 to 400 pigments of chlorophyll which are present in the chloroplast. E chlorophyll we have can be seen in the thylakoid. So e thylakoid membranes we have this chlorophyll and this chlorophyll is major of two kinds one is chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. So chlorophyll A is in blue green color and chlorophyll B is in yellow green in color and these are about 250 to 400 pigments of chlorophyll will be present in a chloroplast. Okay, chloroplast law, we have uh, mostly 250 to 400 uh, green pigments which are called as the chlorophyll. So chlorophyll are also called as the photosynthetic pigments. Photosynthetic pigments are called Okay. And one more main important thing to know about the chloroplast is during photosynthesis so photosynthesis we have the main process like it have occurs a several e events so it occurs several events and several process and main the first one is conversion of light energy into chemical energy so this is the first thing which occurs in the chloroplast so chloroplast law even the root in the first two it converts the light energy into the chemical energy as we have discussed that the third layer which is called as the granum it traps the solar energy okay it traps the solar energy and the photosynthetic pigments they capture the sunlight and they convert this sunlight that is the light energy into chemical energy converges. And the second is the splitting of water molecules. Splitting of water molecules. So splitting of water molecules and water molecules so like H2O. So H2O is been split off into H plus and OH minus split out. So that also process which called as a hydrolysis that we'll be discussing later. And the third process is reduction of carbon dioxide CO2 to carbohydrates. So carbohydrates like C6, H12, O6. So these are the three main uh, events which occurs in the chlorophyll which is the conversion of light energy to chemical energy, the splitting of water molecules that is H plus and OH minus and the reduction of CO2 into the carbohydrates. Okay. So this is the complete structure of the chloroplast and the points which we have discussed here are the main important points of the chloroplast.